my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on all new makeup and skincare releases so if you're interested then just keep watching so before I get into the video, I want to get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're new here, I am Bridget. On this channel, I do skincare, makeup, sprinkle down with a little bit of lifestyle. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. Now, let's talk about some new releases, shall we? I'm going to look on Trend Moods page and she is on Instagram and always shows us what the new releases are on skincare makeup and all those types of goodies I'll link everything to her channel and I think she has a YouTube channel as well I'll link everything below so let's just talk about what we want what we don't want what we wish we could buy what we're not gonna buy under no circumstances you get the drill so let me go ahead and have a look on my phone and then we can come up with the first one okay so first up there is a product by milk makeup I actually like their products they do have some really nice products and looks like this is the poor eclipse mattifying plus blurring makeup primer it comes in at $18 and it says that it's a lightweight water cream makeup primer with skincare benefits that blur the look of pores and fights shine and you all know that I'm all about having good ingredients um, skin loving ingredients in any of your skincare products so that looks really interesting to me will I buy it probably not I don't wear primers um, I don't use primers I just use my regular skincare however at the end of uh, makeup I will put on on a setting spray um, let's see let's go on to the next one this next one is a bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury and I already have one of her bronzers which I absolutely love I think the shade match is perfect for my skin tone this one says that it's a face and body cream bronzer okay see I didn't know that I love creams I might have to get this one this says that it's um, for sun-kissed skin and a beautiful healthy look looking beachy bronze glow blurs hydrates improves the look of your skin every time you wear it um, it says that it has hyaluronic acid and a sunshine pro vitamin d3 now that's the first i've never really seen a pro vitamin d3 in a makeup product so that alone is intriguing me and really making me want that all right so let's move on down next is uh, a color pop item and this is a color pop palette um, the colors look really cute um, looks like there's also a blush and a lip lacquer and it also looks like there's a shimmering oil as well so all of that looks really cute I have to say um, will I buy it or do I want to buy it or am I interested in it no but the color story is really cute I think it's super cute and one thing that I do like about ColourPop uh, products is that they are very affordable and they are good quality for what you get all right so let's move on down some next there is who is this by this is by Kylie skin and this looks like a bubble bath a candle a body lotion a body oil a loofah and a bath bomb um, this says it's coming soon now here's the thing when when whenever there is a brand or a company that does a particular thing for a long time like makeup 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 all they do is makeup then all of a sudden they come out with skincare i i i'm immediately turned off by that um because to me i feel like if if whenever I buy a product a skincare product um, I try to buy it from a brand that I feel has done um, their research or on it or who really backs the brand who stands by the brand like that's what they're all about is skincare uh, for example let's say color effects color effects is known for their facial you know products like uh, foundations bronzers uh, things like that concealers if they came out with a skincare product i don't mean to be judgy but would that be a cash grab i'm not sure but i would just kind of you know when i buy skincare so that's the only reason why i wouldn't buy that it's nothing against kylie or anything like that now what may intrigue what does kind of intrigue me is the candle you know 
and the body oil, but more so the candle. So anyway, I think I've talked enough about that one. Let's go on down the list. All right, so next up is a new brand by the name of Half Magic Beauty. And it looks like you just get a kit of a lot of things in here, like a glitter pill, a, a eyeliner brush, um, face gems, face paint, um, a Dulac, a wing magician, just all kinds of goodies. And it looks like that it was created by Donnie Davy, which is a Euphoria makeup artist. It looks like a really fun collection to own. Um, even the packaging is on the cute side. Um, I definitely, this definitely isn't anything that would be on my radar, um, but I could definitely see how uh, people would be interested in this, especially if you do those types of uh, designs on your face or you add a lot of studs and stones I could definitely see you wanting to try this collection and it also looks like the pricing is really affordable all right so moving on down the list next up is a collab by Mac and Rihanna and I love the packaging they totally nailed it with the packaging I absolutely love that and it looks like you get the powder blush duo in hibis hibiscus kiss now is this something that I want no uh -uh. not that it's not anything nice but it's just nothing that <laughs> nothing nothing exciting about it or nothing about it uh, speaks to my soul but I do like Rihanna and I have a lot of her makeup but I think that I've seen this shade before I'm not sure if this is a repeat or if this is something that looks similar to another product but yeah and I think help me it help me out here I'm thinking that Mac is kind of notorious for that you know just kind of repeating shades and putting Putting it in to a new collab I don't know I'm not sure uh, but moving on <laughs> next on the list there is a black girl sunscreen and it says this is a lightweight continuous sunscreen sp spray applied to the body evenly leaving a layer of sun protection it does have a SPF of 30 and it's infused with jojoba oil and avocado and it's water resistant for 80 minutes mm -hmm. I have to admit I would would like to try this. this I don't have a sunscreen that that has that type of spray on it um, all of my sunscreens are creams and you just kind of have to rub them in everywhere but this um, is definitely intriguing to me and of course I do like the fact that um, it does have uh, glycerin jojoba oil and avocado in it so yeah and plus the price is really good all right so look let's talk about bite beauty this says it's time to say goodbye Goodbye to the iconic products by Bite Beauty. The brand is closing. So sad. Stock up your favorites before they're all gone forever. All products are up to 50% off. Oh my goodness. Did you all know that? I did not know that. How do I feel about that? I had a Bite Beauty foundation, but I did not like it. I returned it I think two years ago when they found when they came out with one of their foundations I tried it I didn't like it so I returned it I have tried their lip products which are nice I didn't think that they were anything that was you know so magnificent I've also tried their lip liners but oh that's sad hmm okay moving on the next up is uh, super goop and they have a new lip screen sheer SPF of 30 okay so hmm I don't even think do I own a lip product with an SPF in it I'm not sure I don't know but this thing this looks really intriguing really nice um, I'll probably try this one okay it says it's invisible nourishing lip balm stick that glides on smooth to give lips moisturized cushiony soft with UV and environmental protection definitely uh, the price $22 that's kind of steep but you know that's kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to uh, products like that all right so next up we have Kiko Milano and looks like she has all kinds of goodies and with this one uh, the packaging is really cute and <laughs> I'm a big sucker for packaging right you look sucker up in the dictionary and I think you might 
you might anyway we're, we're gonna move on but yeah with this one you get a blush you get a baked bronzer a highlighter a double-ended face blush you get a golden star cushion highlighter a skin shining makeup fixer a matte a make me queen lipstick a matte lipstick you get a lip lacquer a eyeliner a mascara a brow pen a, um, a lip liner even a temporary body tattoo sticker they even got the tattoo sticker on it i have to say and the prices aren't that bad the um, packaging is so cute and look at the lipstick i like the little embossed um, design they have on the lipstick i'm tempted by that I'm tempted. I'm gonna have to resist that. All right, so next up is Urban Decay. Hmm. Now I've been a sucker over their packaging in the past. But anyway, this is the new addition to the Naked family. And these are minis, Sin, Foxy, and Half Bay. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? And they, and they don't have the price. But look at the packaging. How cute. Now what's in the packaging? The color stories? No, I don't like. They look a little boring. I don't, I don't like. Uh-uh. No. But I like the outside packaging. Uh, you know what? I won't get those at full price. But, you know, if they ever go on sale at half price, yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I think so. All right. So next up, we have a uh, strain, another Mac collab, and this is Stranger Things. And they, Mac comes up with some cute little collections. They, they really do. Are they for me? No, I'm, but it's cute. It's really cute. Looks like you get um, an eye palette. You also get a powder blush. You get a lip gloss, a synthetic face brush, and a synthetic eye brush. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, no. Uh -uh. And have I even watched the show? I think I've watched a few episodes, but uh, not a lot. All right, so look, let's see. What's next? Benefit Cosmetics. And they have some new blushes that are about to drop. They have Peach and Golden Peach, uh, Moon Rich Berry, uh, Java Rosy Mocha, Crystal Strawberry, Shelly Butterfly Sunny Willy, uh, Pom Pom, and Tara. They got a lot. Okay. Look like they're trying to get something for everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm, well, I bet. No, I'm not really a blush person. I'll wear blush from time to time. But typically, I skip it. Uh, I, I, not because I think it's ugly on me or I don't, you know, anything like that. I just, I don't know. I just skip it most of the time. <laughs> I think it's something that, for me, is just kind of unnecessary. And whenever I do wear blush, um, when I look at myself, it, it appears to be a, a bit much. Even if I apply it lightly, it just seems out of place uh, on me. All right, so let's move on. Next up, what is this? This is a GXVE Beauty. And I know I'm probably supposed to be spelling that out. I'm not sure who that is, but um, I'm not sure who this is. But anyway, it's a sneak peek. It's a new launch. And I'm just going to leave a picture of, and uh, they're supposed to be updating. It's supposed to be coming to Sephora soon. And I know you're like, what, Bridget, what? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. If you know, <laughs> let me know. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. And then put a timestamp in the comments so I'll know what you're talking about. Okay, so let's move on down. Let's move on down, move on down, down the road. Isn't that a song by Michael Jackson? I don't know. All right, so look, let's look. Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop. Oh my goodness. I have to say that these are my favorites from um, ColourPop. I love their Super Shock shadows. They are awesome. Looks like, let's see, the, the Shock It To Me Vault is $55, $6 each, 12 new shades, extra 12 SSS new shades, $6 each. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, um, those colors are nice. I have to say I'm tempted. I love, love, love their Super Shock shadows. They are so pretty. No matter what color you have, no matter what color, you're going to look, it's going to look good on you. 
no matter what because <laughs> they're just so pretty all right so look let's move on all right so next up we have city color cosmetics and uh quote unquote it says it's taking us back to the 90s and bringing us bright colors yes look at those colors i know people who love color will love this it's super super cute I wonder how much it is the eyeshadow palette is $14 look like you get a gloss for $4 and of course the bundle is uh, $15 and it does say that it's vegan and cruelty free which is totally cool and I just love their pictures they're so bright and cute super cute is this something that I'm gonna get no but I like it I think it's cute. I think it's adores balls. All right, so let's move on. We got Makeup Revolution, and it looks like they have a, what is this, liquid shimmer eyeshadow. And it comes in a dynamic blue, charmed lilac, obsessed teal, smitten rose, and dream bronze. These are really cute. I would love to see how, how they apply, how well they hold up, if they crumble, you know, yeah, some of those, uh, as you know, some liquid eyeshadows can kind of like crumble up. Um, I would love to see if you're able to blend them out, if they dry really fast. Uh, to me, that one indicator if I would get it or not. I have to say I would be tempted, but that's like if it goes on sale for like 50% off or something like that. Next up, uh, looks like Glamnetic has, uh, no, Glam Light. New collection. This says Kellogg's Frosty Flakes. <laughs> this is too cute. Oh my God, that is too cute. That's some cute stuff. Oh my goodness. The color story is super cute. See, stuff like this, they, whoever their design person is, that looks tempting for me to get. Not under normal circumstances, but I even know, but how they have the the pa um, the design of the palette and the colors and how they have it set um, outlined in orange and then they have the contrast that is pretty. That is very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I really love that. Some brands, I feel like they haven't quite figured that out. You know, when you can like really catch someone with your product, because um, a lot of people are like me, they just kind of buy stuff because it's pretty, you know, <laughs> so, but I have to say, I'm tempted by this. That looks really, really pretty. And it looks like you get a palette, a highlighter, a lip kit, um, looks like two lip kits and you can get the whole collection for $75 that is some cute stuff I really like that all right so with Kopari looks like you get a guava hydrating milk for $30 you get a body wash you get a body butter with hyaluronic acid you get a hydrating body wash with coconut water and aloe and sea kelp get a hydrating body milk lotion with shea butter and chamomile um, just all kinds of juices and berries because we all want juices and berries on our body. We want that um, and all of this I want to try. Yes ma'am, yes please, may I have more? Can I try it? I need it now. I am going to get me some of this. Probably, what I'll probably start off with is the body butter with the hyaluronic acid and probably the, uh, the body milk. No, the body wash the body the body milk and the body wash yes i'm so wanting to try this and i even like their promo pictures their promo pictures are just so cute all right so next up is a product by danessa myricks and looks like this is a duet balm in sweet water and it looks like, and it says that this is a highlighting, hydrating face and body balm that creates a buildable wash of shimmer. So this will be available May 22nd. So here's the deal with this one. Danessa Myricks has a lot of facial products um, that I have not tried yet and I really do need to try them. Is it something that I'm going to run out and buy? Probably not, uh, but if I find myself perusing in a makeup store and I see it, uh, like in the Morphe store in the Galleria, they sell her uh, uh, makeup facial products, I'll probably just kind of pick it up. But to specifically make a drive out to go get it, probably not or order it but it does look really pretty i bet you it would look super good on the skin at least that's what i'm led to believe by these pictures so yeah 
moving on. All right, looks like a, a new brand. I'm thinking this is a new brand. I've never heard of this, but this is called Jones Road Beauty. And they have a tinted moisturizing, moisturizer balm. And let's see, hmm, this looks interesting. I'm so curious. I wonder how that would work on my skin. Um, let's see, what does it say? It says it blends seamlessly into the skin, leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best day. It includes skin nourishing ingredients like jojoba oil and sodium hyaluronate, buildable light to medium coverage. And 12 shades, $44. Yes, I, that's something that I would like to try. Um, I've never really, I don't think I've owned a balm as a, uh, more tinted moisturizer or foundation or whatever but definitely I'm intrigued by that and going back to Danessa Myricks looks like she has a blurring balm powder yes ma'am yes please I want to try that this says that it's a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances oil throughout the day while maintaining hydration she got me when it says a texture reducing I have definitely got to try that. Okay. Very, very nice. I wonder, is it out yet? But anyway, let me know if that's something that just kind of piques your interest and makes you want to pick it up. Okay. Next up, we have a product by Coral Organics. And I do have one of their um, moisturizers. I really love it. This is their new active algae lightweight moisturizer. Retails for $56 and the refill is $46. It says that it's a lightweight gel moisturizer that helps visibly, visibly improve skin clarity and provides long lasting hydration without excess shine awesome it says that it has green tea alpine rose green algae it's vegan cruelty free and comes from recyclable packaging i mean they hit the mark to me in every area yes please i want some and look at the packaging okay is that the cutest stuff ever <laughs> Okay, let's see what else is going on. All right, so next up we have skincare by Sister Pat, and looks like she has what is this? This is an essence, a rose essence. This says the tr the transformative secret to hydrated, revitalized, and luminous skin. The essence is formulated with 97% volcanical derived ingredients that transform skin into an instant and deliver even more major results over time. It's coming soon. Will I be picking this up? No, mm -mm. no, it's probably $500. All right, and the last item that I wanna talk about is another new skincare by Scarlett Johansson. And it looks like you get a cleanser, um, a eye cream, a night cream, a moisturizer, a serum, and daily essential starter. I guess that's a starter kit. Um, I'm not familiar with her products. I see some woman who is an actress on here. I don't know if she's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the background of this product. I need to do my research. Um, just by what it's saying, it sounds like something that I would absolutely love. The eye cream in particular and the, the night cream, those two. So it's already launched. I need to look up some videos and see how people are liking it, how it's uh, working for them. But yeah, um, definitely something that I'm interested in. All right, so that's it. Those are all of the new releases that I wanted to talk with you all about. Let me know down in the comments what you're gonna get. Let me know what you're not gonna get. Let me know if you're on a no buy or a low buy or whatever the case. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, which is...